Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Terror. I hope everyone is well. Finally got the energy and the time to knock out the holiday readings. Um, I was on vacation from the better, bread and butter job for four days this week and I, I, I just took a vacation, guys. I, I needed it. It has been a very stressful few months at at the bread and butter job and around the house and I've been struggling with some health issues and I just I'm really hoping that things are finally under control and I can deal with and manage everything that is going on so okay enough about that this reading will be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for your holiday read since the holiday season technically ends at the end of the day today because it is New Year's Day. Mm. All right. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read cards. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Firesign Tarot Table. One last little reminder, if it is not your story, if it's not your message, and if it's not your reading, and you're just not feeling it, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take what doesn't belong to you, because that's how fights get started. And I'm not going to blame somebody else's drama. <laughs> anyway. Aquarius, why are you here? Two of Wands reversed. Either you or the person you're dealing with is having trouble letting go of the past and moving forward toward the future. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? We have a Wheel of Fortune. Throw a clarifier on that in a second. That's a pretty open-ended card. Could be... Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio that you're dealing with. It's a ten. Tens are endings where new beginnings can begin. Hmm clarify that in a second probably has something to do with the letting go process you might feel like they're in process or you want them to be in process what do, what do you think of them page of swords honest communication they're a good communicator maybe they're a little bit talkative what do you want from them Six of Wands reversed. Oh. There's something you don't want them to return to. Hmm. How do they feel about you? Empress in the reverse. Oof. Maybe they're not feeling it. Or they're not ready to feel it. We'll throw a communicate. I'll clarify on that in a second. What do they think of you? Oh, okay. Lack of trust. Don't hold back. What do they want from you? Five of Pentacles came up. I could indicate what they don't want. Maybe they don't want to be left out in the cold. They don't want to leave you out in the cold. Hmm. Well, obstacle. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords is a possible resolution. Hmm, okay. Some clarifiers on this. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Aquarius, please? Hold on. Pull that. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for their holiday of 2020 reading.
Well, no joke, you're holding on to something. Four of Pentacles? Holding on to the past, not wanting to move forward toward the future. Somebody. Somebody's holding on to an old seed. Could be you, could be them. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, wow. Okay. Knight of Swords. Somebody's being watched. Somebody's being watched to see if something is really coming to an end. Hmm. Why is the Empress reversed here? Queen of Cups. There's a great deal of emotion. They hold a cup, but it's not going to take off. There's no hope for growth. Hmm. Why is the Page of Swords here? Ten of Cups and the Star. They make you happy. They're, they're a wish come true. Why is strength reversed here? Five of Swords. Oh my. Aquarius, you may be dealing with somebody that's had to walk off, walk off the battlefield one too many times. You may be dealing with someone who has had to deal with a great deal of loss. They may feel like it's not going to grow because, well... I've always had crappy luck in the past. Hmm. Hmm. Why is... Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Page of Swords. One more.
Okay, so... You want communication, you want growth, you don't want this to be called a loss. They make you happy. You don't you don't want it called game. You don't want it called game. Okay. Okay. Well all right. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Wow, I'll take it. Five of Wands, Seven of Cups, Four of Wands reversed. One more. Why the five of wands? You are dealing with someone who's constantly... This is like a self-esteem battle. You are dealing with someone who cannot let go of the tragedy that's in their past, Aquarius. That's who you're dealing with right now. They are so set on this isn't going to work. They're manifesting crap into their own life. You want it to work, but you understand you can't level somebody else's playing field. You want it to grow. You want to be able to communicate. You want to be able to talk about it, but they are not all about that. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here is the obstacle? chariot obstacle is forward movement the obstacle is the old seed four cups reversed ignoring what's being handed to you being pulled into different directions somebody doesn't want the cup somebody doesn't want the cup They're very guarded. They're guarding the offer. They're guarding the seed because they don't... They've been hurt. Wow. Why is the Ace of Swords here for the possible resolution? talking about it. Three of Cups, Upright, Tower, Reversed. One more. Nine of Wands, Reversed. You may just need to not be in hot pursuit of this Aquarius and just be friends for a minute and let them rebuild that tower of trust and get to know each other. You can't be, you can't fix somebody else and you can't rush them fixing themselves. It just doesn't work. Chariot. There's forward movement possible with the chariot as an outcome. Six of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Swords. But in order for them to be able to give to this, they have to end their painful cycle. They have to let the sun shine again because they're afraid to give. You have to just let them. Let them bide their time. 
Three of Swords reversed. Come out of their stay of heartbreak. Wow. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ten of Wands. You need to allow them to regain their emotional independence and acknowledge that they are a catch and that they are worth it. And you need to allow them to release their burden. Before you really, that you make that. There's a page of cups here and she's so adorable. She's like my favorite page of cups. She really is. There's a lot of emotion behind that little cup. But so you have to bide your time and you have to allow the process to happen. They're still in process of letting something very painful and very deep go. And Aquarius, you need to accept that. You can't rush this. I know how you feel about them. They're a dream come true. And they're everything you ever wanted. And you... You can't fix them. Aquarius, you have to let them deal with what they got to deal with before you move forward with this, okay? All right, this has been your reading. Happy holidays. I appreciate your patience. I'm going to say it again. 2021 is going to be our year here at Fireside Tarot. It's going to be our year. We are approaching the two-year mark. I can't believe it. And, I, and we get told all the time, how do you not have more subscribers? I'll be honest with you. I have a bread and butter job. I work between 50 and 70 hours a week at, and I have a family and a home I have to take care of. And I am in no position at this point to quit that bread and butter job and allow this to pay my bills. Okay. I'm, I'm in no position, but I feel like this is my calling. And this is something I need to do and something I need to work at. But there's other things that I have to get rolling and keep rolling first. So it's going to be our year. And thanks for coming along for the ride. Thanks for all the support. You are loved. Be blessed. Have a happy and wonderful 2021. And we'll catch you next time, Aquarius.